South Korea's largest automaker, Hyundai Motor Group, held its annual shareholders meeting. They voted on its dividends payout and board member shakeup. Kim Hye-sung has the highlights from that session. The shareholders of Hyundai Motor Group have rejected a demand by the American activist hedge fund Elliott Management for a massive dividend payout and board reforms. 86 percent of Hyundai Motor shareholders voted in favor of Hyundai Motor and Hyundai Mobis's proposal of a dividend payout for 2018 of 1 billion U.S. dollars, turning down Elliott's calls for a one-time payout of 7 billion dollars. Only 14 percent of them voted with Elliott, which owns 3 percent of Hyundai Motor and 2.6 percent of Hyundai Mobis. So it's a win for Hyundai after it was forced to withdraw a controversial restructuring plan last year because of opposition from Elliott, and it leaves more money to invest in future technologies. Also passed was Hyundai Motor's proposal to bring in three outside directors, including Vice Chairman of UBS Wealth Management, Yoon chi won they all won over 70 percent of the vote. Elliot knew it wouldn't have been able to pass this proposal, but it's trying to show that its demands are in the shareholders' interests. 14 percent in favor, though. This is not a small number. Unlike the past, Korean Chebar shareholders, both foreign and local, are getting bigger and calling for changes to corporate governance and improvements in transparency. On Friday, Hyundai Motor Group's executive vice chairman, Tong Yi-sun, co-president Lee Won-hee, and head of R&D, Albert Bierman, have been approved to serve as executive directors, paving the way for Tong Yi-sun to take over as group chairman from his father, Chung mong gu But experts say Hyundai Motor still faces the bigger challenge of revamping its ownership structure, a process that is attracting closer scrutiny from Elliott and other investors. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.